You know, not that the housing industry needs it in this country, but actually this Greece uh, unrest has been a good thing for those looking for a home or to refinance in this country because it immediately prompted a flight to quality safety, if you will, in our Treasury notes and bonds. And those are the, the rates to which mortgage rates are traditionally pegged. Uh, it's too soon to tell whether that will have uh, such an effect. But uh, I don't think it's too soon to say that housing clearly is seeing a marked uh, turnaround here in the latest case. Schiller reports sort of like the Bible of the industry here, a reading of 101.4 in June when it comes to home prices, double digit upticks uh, in the likes of the Denver area, San Francisco area. So again, we have seen a pickup in activity that has been broad based and it confirms what we've seen on new home sales, existing home sales, uh, the whole nine yards permits again, again at about an eight and a half year high. Uh, we've got economist Bob Schiller who follows this with the case Schiller report on what we're seeing and whether it's real. What do you think, Bob? I mean, we've been head fake before. You've been always very, you know, inquisitive about it, not to the point like, yeah, I like what I see, but let's not go crazy. So, so where do you think we stand with this? Well, it's true, the numbers that look stronger, uh, but you have to weigh in that this is entering the, the summer months. And uh, the middle of the year is generally a period of higher price increases. If you correct for that, I don't know. You know, it, uh, it, it looks like we had a big upturn in 2012, and the market looked really strong. Now, if anything, it looks, it's still going up, and it's still right. going up all right, but it's not as peppy as it was in, like, 2012, 2013. You know, the argument you hear for the housing bull is that we're not off to the races, but we're off the proverbial mat. In other words, we are seeing a pickup in prices, uh, applications, not consistently, but enough that, to make people think, well, maybe I should get off the fence. Interest rates are going to move up. It looks like the Federal Reserve could be poised to hike. I know this is a market rate driven phenomenon and things have changed in the last day or two with Greece, but that this is the time for fence sitters to get off the fence. And that is the difference right now. Do you agree with that? Sometimes I get that feeling when I talk to people looking at the housing market. You know, it, it could be coming back. On the other hand, the, the latest data are really not showing any consistent signs of strength. And hmm. there was a recent New York Fed survey that showed that expectations for home price increases are only about 4%, consistent with what I've found in my own surveys in the past, recent past. So people are not, except in certain places like San Francisco, overall, they're not, you know, really excited. And maybe it's a good reason not to be that excited about prospects in the housing market. Well, now the, and a lot of those markets like San Francisco, correct me if I'm wrong, those were markets that were super, super hot, then turned super, super cold. So it right. could be coming off what had been a super, super extreme, right? It seems that some cities are just endemically more volatile than others. <laughs> uh, California is a volatile state. It goes back over 100 years, this volatility. It has something to do with glamour, Beautiful weather. Everybody <laughs> wants to live here. Yeah, that could do it. Could I, this is a dumb question on my part, but I'm curious. What is the historic trend here? I mean, uh, housing is strong when rates are the process of moving up, pre presumably because oh. the economic activity is picking up, or vice versa. What is it? Because rates are now See, ticking have, up. I have data going back 100 years. Uh, and it's true when rates are really high, like 1982. That's super high. You know, they were double digit. Right. Home right. prices were low. So there, there's definitely something to a relation between rates and home prices. But overall, it's not that strong. You know, you can't look at every little wiggle in the uh, in the interest rate and infer what will happen to home prices. There's a big psychological component, I'm convinced, in home prices. It's not even closely related to interest rates. All right, but that psychological component, too, if you don't mind me indulging my fanciful nutter here, is, uh, wow, I mean, I see rates ticking up. I see home prices ticking up. Uh, again, not, not crazily, as you pointed out. I better do yeah. something. Uh, and that's what's going on. Yeah, I hear exactly that. And yet there are signs of weakness, too. Very Boston true. is uh, hardly going up at all. And... Uh, there, there, it's not a, not a uniform picture. Got you. Robert, I don't know whether to laugh or cry, but I'll, I'll go in between on that because it could go either way. Robert Schiller. <laughs> That's always, the way it usually is. I hear you. I hear you. Thank you very <laughs> okay. much. Um, Robert right. Schiller. No one follows this better.